Hey everybody. It is, I don't even know what time it is. It's like 1.15 and I'm just putting on my foundation today. <laughs> um, I hope everyone's having a great day. I wanted to um, do a little foundation for you today and show you how I apply it. Let me find it first. Our foundation is really, really unique. Um, and gosh, I should have like made sure all my tools were nearby. Hey everyone, thanks for hopping on. I'm gonna do a foundation demo today and talk a little bit. Hey, hey Alicia. Um, I'm gonna do a little demo for you guys and talk about also just some things that have caught my eye with, with limelight. You know, why limelight? I get asked that question a lot. Let me figure out my settings for my lights. Let me know if that is too bright. Um, I did my eyes today and I went a little wow with my, uh, my brows. And I have lashes on today. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is like a marathon. I, I mean, getting lashes on, major props to all of you guys who do it on a daily basis. I'm gonna try, try to do it every single day because they're so fun um, and really open up the eye. But yeah, we're gonna talk about what caught my eye today um, with Limelight, not today, but what caught my eye in general why I was drawn to this company and also do some foundation because I have my eyes done but I do not have my foundation on. Um, and thanks everyone for hopping on today. So um, what I'm gonna do to put on our foundation, we have what's called, you can see mine is very well loved. And one thing that's really cool about our foundation is it is wax based. So it is, um, just it goes on beautifully it warms up on your face throughout the day and it really creates a flawless look using very very little product you need such a small amount you guys it's incredible i know when i was introduced to this foundation it, i was used to just kind of i like coverage so i i was used to slathering on all my foundation and you know caking it on with my hands and by the end of the day i was finding that my coverage was gone it was suffering and so when i I got this I had to retrain myself that I didn't need very much I needed very little of it to go a long way and get the coverage that I was looking for um, you can put this on with a brush um, but you can also do it with a sponge and I use our blender full and this is really all the product that I'm gonna hopefully use on my face today I need very very little um, and I just do it in a circular motion like this I just kind of press Sometimes I blot it aggressively, depending on how quick or in a hurry I am. But um, it's one of those things, guys, where when I was introduced to Limelight, what really, really drew me to the company was a couple of things. One was the heart of the company. It was the vision of the company. You know, who's laughing? I just saw that face. Don't you laugh? Oh my gosh, do you guys want to see what I almost just did? I almost dipped in my lip palette just then. That was not professional at all. It was not. Um, but it, what drew me to it was really the heart of this company. It, it was the, it was genuine, you know, and I love that it was family owned. I love that it was one of those things where it um, was run by a aunt and niece team, which I loved. Um, and it was just a, it was such a fun, a fun company. I just felt very drawn to it because of that. And I think that sometimes, you know, it's just the culture, it's just the, um, the company heart that kind of comes through and the brand and the way things are done. And, you know, and so that's just really what caught my eye other than, um, loving more than anything, the product line. I just fell in love first with the skincare and then I think the second, probably after the skincare, the first product that I really um, attached to is this foundation. Hold on. Yeah, Alicia, it is. It is so full of love. And 
it comes across, you know, monthly, every month in the Fempire, in our company um, private page. There's trainings galore. There is shout outs. There is, um, you know, it's so fun at month end watching our corporate team get on, you know, literally this last time they had all this party hats and like whatever those things are that make you know no, the you know you do for parties and stuff what are they called i don't know the noise makers you know they're all sitting there just celebrating everyone reading down the list it was just so cool to watch them celebrate everyone's successes big or small and you know so the why why behind it what drew me to it was the company culture and the products um i also loved and see you guys, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but I already have pretty amazing coverage just from that small amount that I put on here. I mean, I think that my face looks much more um, balanced and just awesome. So I'm making my way here. I don't know how it looks on camera, but it is um, just such an incredible product. And you know, another thing with our foundation, on a side note, Christine, I know you do. I know you do, and you are going to love it. And your samples are on their way. I literally went to the post office today with like, the poor lady. I, I walked up with two bags full. I mean, you guys blew me away. Blew me away, everyone that was interested in a sample. I swear, I had two bags full of envelopes and just kept stacking them on the counter. I think her eyes are just huge. Like, what in the world are you doing? And it's like, well, first of all, would you like one? And second of all, these people are going to get a package of happy. Um, you're going to love your masks, you guys. But back to the foundation. So the foundation is... Um, I think that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna do a Kindle move. Transition clap, focus Sarah. Okay, so the Botanical Foundation, it is RCMA Botanical Foundation. It is developed by the President and the Director of the Research, of, uh, the Research Council of Professional Makeup Artists. I mean, what did I just say? Did you guys even hear what I just said? I am putting on, I mean, this makeup is professional. You cannot get this anywhere else. It has never before been available to the public. That's another thing that drew me to Limelight. It my attention was like whoosh, grabbed like squirrel because it was like, what are you telling me? This pro these products are professional products used by professional makeup artists until Limelight was launched by Alco New York. They were never available to the public. Amazing, incredible. That is the foundation that I am using. Um, it is free of mineral oil, lanolin oil, fragrance, and it's really good for any skin type. It really does add almost a second layer of skin to your face. Um, and you need such a small amount so it lasts you. So even, I have a frog in my throat, sorry. I have a sick one home, I hope I'm not getting the bug. But even the fact that mine's running out, and I've had this for a couple of months, you guys, I can take out the metal pan and set it on my flat iron and melt it down, let it harden, and I have, you know, quite a bit more product left in here, and it's because it's wax-based. So this foundation is top choice of professional makeup artists and has been used by professionals and celebrities for decades. Um, the other thing is that, one thing that's unique about Limelight is that it's not a brand that decided to go into, like a direct selling brand that decided to go into this sector. It is a beauty company, a professional beauty company that has been around for 65 years that started um, in, you know, basically bringing cosmetics, professional cosmetics, to the stage and to film, um, and they're bringing their 65 years of, of amazing experience and expertise in the beauty field to women everywhere. That's what Limelight is. Um, there are some things that, I know I'm kind of going on a tangent today. I'm kind of going off topic. So you saw the foundation. I've already done my eyes. I am going to apply our bronzer and just add a little bit of color as I'm on a 
tangent. Hopefully you all hang out. If you don't, then you can leave if you're bored and come back and watch the replay. But here are some other things. I, I'm so excited. I just, I literally yesterday, Michelle, who's one of our founders um, or CEOs, she got on and was just giving some announcements for what's coming at Palooza, which is like the annual event for Limelight. It only will be the second annual event. She's talking about some of the stuff that's going to be going on. And I was so excited. I mean, some of these things like our speakers, one of them is Chris Johnson. I wrote notes. I mean, he, if you Google these people, you'll know who they are. Hey, Karen. I miss you, my friend, so much. If I cry, my lashes will come off because I guarantee you, first of all, if my lash decides to make its way down my cheek during this video because I had no idea what I was doing this morning, do not be alarmed and do not share this video and let us all know because it will be really, really embarrassing. I'm hoping they hang on there. I'm hoping they hang on there. Okay, so what I was saying was, okay, the speakers at this conference. So Chris Johnson is known, he's in the nutrition and wellness kind of sector. He speaks to um, uh, companies all over the world and he really highlights how nutrition and wellness play a role in increasing your sales performance. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like that is so cool. Like I spent the last three years super amazingly plugged into health and wellness. It's a passion of mine. It's changed my life. And to have him on stage talking about that is amazing. He's going to be doing a fitness class for us. He's going to be making special juice samples that helps freshen up your skin and beautify you just for the limelight people. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Here's another one that's neat. Martha Beck. Here, hold on. Let me do this. So I don't like keep you guys here all day even though I know you want to hang with me all day. I know you do. You're like, man. Where's Sarah's lives? I can't have a good day without Sarah's lives. Is that what you guys think? Or do you guys just hop on here to appease me? I was just talking to a friend on the phone right before this about lives and how, you know, in the beginning, and they still kind of are a little uncomfortable. But I appreciate you guys all hopping on with me. It's just proof that anyone can do stuff like this, guys, because I am literally, I am a... What is the term? It's like an introvert, a functioning introvert, where I will, I can become an extrovert in, in, in an environment. I like people, I like being around people, but I'm also a total homebody and a little bit of an introvert. So if I can hop on these and share, it doesn't matter what you are doing in your life, whatever business you are part of, you can do these and, and make an impact, make your ripple effect on your people. Because, right? Do you hear what I'm saying? So, again, our bronzer, I pretty much have said it on every video that I have done. And, um, I mean, the pigmentation of our products as well is out of this world. So, you need very little of it, whether it's the foundation or the blush or the bronzer or the eye, the eyeshadows and so forth. You're just going to get um, a lot more bang with a very small amount of product so just know that um what is what's the other thing i want to tell you so the other speaker is martha beck and you guys need to google this woman she is the personal life coach for many many like amazing people one of which is oprah i mean oprah really hey larry you need some bronzer i can hook you up i can hook you up with that but, I mean, she's coming to speak at line, at, because she, she believes in limelight. She's going to come be one of our speakers. I, I'm like, oh my gosh, like that is amazing. The other thing, some of the other things we're going to be doing is Zumba. I mean, first of all, Karen, you know this about me. I do not have moves like you for Zumba. And, you know, hopefully no one will video that. <laughs> I swear, I'm like, you know, I know you guys have all seen that, like, what is that video with um, Lucille Ball where she's trying to do, like, the moves? That is me. That is 100% me when it comes to Zumba. But we're going to, there will be Zumba. There's going to be yoga. Possibly, there's going to possibly be a fun run. I'm like, 
Yes, I mean, t we talk all the time, right? One of my things with going into this is I am all about um, beautifying your outside and taking care of yourself, taking pride in who you are and highlighting your beauty. That's what makeup should do. It shouldn't be to cover it up. I mean, and that's the thing. Karen, what is brace juice? Tell me, you tell me. Um, <laughs> what is that? Um, but I'm all about like, you know, beautifying your, your exterior and like having three girls, one of which is 13 years old. I am like, oh my gosh, you know, I don't want her to ever get caught in feeling like makeup is meant to cover up her beauty. I want her to be proud of who she is. But also the fact that, um, brave, yes, Karen, I need to be brave. Yes, mimosas, I know, right? Right? I know, I need, mimosas make everything better and I think I need to start doing like a mimosa live like every Saturday or maybe morning time every morning. I don't know, that would be probably inappropriate, but you know, I'm, anyways, I love the fact, and because that's what this was supposed to be, just to share with Limelight, is that they are focused on the inside out. Their whole thing is about um, emotional and mental happiness, health. And um, so I'm excited. Um, and that's the other thing. They have a training pro program called the 360 Thrive, which I'm like, what, what, what did you just say? Thrive? You just said that. Um, but I mean, it's called 360 Thrive and it's really about creating health and wellness um, from the inside out in through the training program. The training is so awesome, you guys. The training is so awesome. So anyways, these are so, I've been challenged today to get on, I, and I was due to get on and just hang with you guys, but I've been challenged to get on and just share kind of, oh gosh, I just got something dark there. Hold on. Um, I've been challenged to get on and just share with you guys a little bit about why I like Love Limelight. And, you know, I'm wearing like the shirt right now and everything. Crazy. Um, so what are some other things I wanted to share with you? Oh, a men's line is coming. Oh my gosh. Sam's been using my stuff, my stuff, not my makeup, but he is going to be really excited about that. I know he will. And so will all of your men. They will be excited about our men's line. It's supposed to be pretty incredible. It's coming out um, sometime around um, Father's Day, I think. But I'm not an expert, but it is coming. I'm really excited about that. Um, what is something else I needed to do with myself well, before I wrap up this? Um, so I need a lip color. Hey, Jennifer. Yeah, I'm excited too for the men's. I'm really excited. Um, will you guys help me with a lip color? So this is what I have to choose from today. All right, this is what I have right here. These are the lips. Okay, so you guys have seen me put on ash. It's like a really vibrant kind of fuchsia color. So that's vote number one. Mia I wear pretty much every day. It's a really pretty light pink. Kind of coral. Okay, that's Mia. So Ash, Mia. Sugar Plum. I have never worn this one. This is an enduring lip color and it looks fun. It looks very bold. A little bit more of a purple, purple color, like a plum, sugar plum. All right, and this one, this one's a little bold. I don't know. I have Definitely, I've worn candied apple, which is like more of a blue red, and this is a vibrant red. This is like an orangey red. Any votes? So one of the other things while you guys are just pondering, because I know, I know that you desperately want to just comment and tell me because it's like killing you, um, which color you want me to put on. Another thing that really stood out to me, so we've talked about heart, we've talked about, you know, kind of talked about the training, except I went on some tangents. So heart of the company, the vision, the products, um, and why they're unique, I think I covered that pretty good. Training, which is was my whole point of my tangent about, um, I always want to say Lollapalooza, but that is not what it's 
That is not. See, three weeks in and I don't have these things memorized. Palooza, Palooza. Um, but that was the point of bringing that up was the training. I'm excited, stuff that's coming. And the other thing is growth. So Limelight is a year old, that's it. It's a year old um, sister company of Alco New York. So just to understand that, Alco New York has been around for 65 years, but they created the sister company, which is Limelight. And you know, the fact that, there's a couple other things I love. It's the fact that our products are made in the USA um, and many of our vendors, because our professional cosmetic line is made up of hand-picked, top-performing professional cosmetics in each sector. So we have, they, Limelight has relationships with these people, with these manufacturers that are family-owned, a lot of them, made in the USA. I mean, it's a really incredible thing what Limelight is doing. Um, the last thing I want to cover we're still on sugar plump. Sugar plump. <laughs> I said sugar plump. <laughs> this one, right? Okay. So this is the one I'm going to put on really quick. And then I'm going to finish up my tangent. Talk amongst yourselves. I can't talk when I do this on camera. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Ooh, it's a little dark, guys. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. Hold on one second. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Oh gosh. It is pretty vibrant. I almost snorted. I just want you to know. <laughs> I almost snorted. It almost happened on live camera. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Gosh, I'm so bad with awkward silence. I'm so uncomfortable. I am. I am. Hey, guys. Yeah, I think it might be better for nighttime. Except I'm going to rock this in the daytime. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Hold on, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. There's an oopsie. There's a little bit of an outside of the line situation. It's the creative side of me where I don't color in the lines much. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, I need to balance out the lip now, the upper lip. I'm gonna rock this, that's right Karen. I'm gonna rock this at pickup. I am. Oh gosh. Well, this got a little out of hand today. It got a little out of hand. It did. You know what's funny you guys, is my girls are like, mom, because, I mean, I'll admit, guys, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't big on wearing a lot of makeup and stuff. I was, you know, it was just, you know, you work from home, you get kind of comfy sometimes. You don't, you don't do that stuff. And, um, this is, yes, this is an enduring lip, so it's going to stay on. And the middle lip situation is a little interesting today. See, I got to fix it. Just one more second. One more second. It'll be real fast. Let me just fix right here. Limelight people watching are going to be like, who is this girl? I mean, she's representing our line. She's like, can't even put on her lipstick. Okay. The girls are like, mom, what are you like? You're wearing all wearing makeup now and like that's so cool you're so cool now and what do you guys think about it yeah that's right Castine but what is so funny is I saw this tutorial on um I think it was Facebook <laughs> And it was this girl with short hair, and she was trying all these cool, like, 
like updos and doing all this cool stuff with her hair. And I'm like, cool, I can do that. Like I'm always looking for something new. I'm gonna try it. Well, this girl, you guys, did, she pulled her hair up and pinned it on top and like kind of created a bow, like a bow on each side. <laughs> So the other day before I came on live and I took it down, I wasn't courageous. I'm like, I'm going to try that. I'm going to rock this. I can do this. And I put my hair up like that. Well, and I happen to have one of our girls is homesick. Another one is sick, has bit the dust and caught the, the crud that's going around. But one happened to be home that day. So I walk in there totally forgetting that my hair is like a bow and <laughs> she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Take that off. That does not look good. That was a tangent. Really quick, I know this looks super crazy, vibrant. This is a lip gloss. This is in the color Bliss. It is actually a really fun color. It's just super clear. So if you're looking for, you can't tell, huh? Hold on. If you are looking for just a shimmer on your lip, this is your, this is your friend right here. Don't be afraid of the color. I'm just going to put it on really quick. Christine, are you saying that I'm a squirrel? Is that what you're saying, that I'm getting distracted? I hear you. I hear you. I'm not going to take that personally, except it's totally true. Um, so what is the last thing I wanted to share with you guys today, if you're still with me? This has been a little bit of a train wreck. All right. We're all ready, the look is ready. What I wanted to share with you is um, that the last thing that caught my eye is growth. And this was put up on um, Michelle, who's one of our co-CEOs on her Facebook wall. And I just thought, this is pretty freaking awesome. So in January, which is normally the slowest month in this, pretty, huh, Karen? I know, gorge. Um, in January, which is normally the slowest month, Limelight paid out over $1 million to their sales force, which is pretty incredible, guys. I mean, January is a hard month because you're going, you're going from, you know, the holiday season, people are, you know, it's just slow go. They're not really in the mood to shop, but with Limelight, we had over 40% growth in sales in general from December to January, and then in January, which is normally the slowest month, they paid out over one million in commissions. But what is even cooler is that they are projecting that one million will become 33 million by the end of the year. And we are a year old. I mean, I was like, oh my gosh, like mind is blown, my mind is blown. So that's what I wanted to share. I've been challenged to share what's pulled up my heart. That's what's pulled up my heart. And um, I support you all. I support you all. I just want to encourage you guys to start. Um, oh, it didn't. It didn't double up on you. You're going to be rocking limelight. Yeah. Rock it. But um, yeah, I just love you all. Get on there and start, you know, getting your, your brand out there and um, doing these lives because they're really fun. Thank you for hopping on. I know it was a bit of a squirrel today, but hopefully it made some sense. <laughs> if you guys have any questions about my actual look, like eyeliner or the shadow, I went a little overboard with different colors. I tried some green. Actually, I'll just show you really quick. I did, all right, I did this on my lid which I wear pretty much every day. This is a color that I will wear with just on my lid with liner um, because it's such a pretty color. It's not a glitter, it just has a little bit of a shimmer. It's called Peachy, um, peachy Gleam and really, really pretty color. Um, Castine, it's our black liquid liner on top. And mine's all sad because my daughter's messed with it. Let me get you, um, let me show you. Where is my other one? Somewhere nearby. I'll post a picture in the comments. It's a really beautiful tip. It's very, very, um, it's flexible. So it moves with your eye and helps you make a really, really nice, 
easy line, doesn't tug at your eye. But on the bottom, I actually use our, um, our shadows a lot. And I do on the top sometimes as well. Right now I have on the bottom um, this one right here. And I also have a little bit of this one, which is kind of a shimmery, um, well, it's, it has like pink undertones, pinkish brown color. And how I do that is I use a liner um, brush and I use our 10 Years Younger Finishing Spray. And it helps it really glide on and look amazing. Yes, it is easy to use. The um, Perfect Eyeliner Pen, it glides. It, because it has a flex, flexible tip on there, it really glides with your eye. It doesn't pull and you know, I was never big on liquid eyeliner. I can never put it on well either. And I have found that it's really, really easy to use. And I love playing with the pigments of our eye color and, and making liners that way. All right guys, thank you for hanging with me. I appreciate it. And we'll do another live soon. Have a great day.